I got a life sentence. I've been uh, in jail for starting on 34 years in May. And uh, this is the best thing happened to me in a long time. So um, we partnered with several different rescues and um, shelters in the south. Most of our dogs are Florida or Alabama, some Tennessee. Um, unfortunately, there's very overwhelmed down there with dogs. And um, so we can, thankfully, we've hooked up with some great partners. And um, we pay to transport dogs up here on a monthly basis. Usually around 20 to 23 dogs come up and um, we pair them with offenders. Each, each dog gets two offenders uh, per, per dog. So um, they teach them all the basics. We go into each facility twice weekly on Mondays and, and Thursdays to train the offenders how to train their dogs. So after about four weeks, they're available for adoption. We do home visits, we make sure all the dogs are fully vetted. Um, it's a great program. So this one, our, this one uh, came in with a sibling. It's a bit of a sad story. Got probably hit by a car, but uh, had a, you could you could tell like it's a, the way they had to patch everything up with it. Has some scarring up here as well. So. It's uh, already bouncing back nicely from uh, the trip. So once they, they, these guys get in, they'll get some really good TLC from the handlers. These guys really work super hard with uh, with any uh, tough abuse cases or, or, or dogs that went through a, a particular trauma. So these, uh, these it'll, it'll be a, a good second chance for them. What kind of dogs? Um, they're little hound mixes. Yeah, hound mixes. Yeah, Pro probably look like some, um, like the coon houndy type. Yeah. All right, then the next one. That one now. Ginger's like, let me out. I want to get out here and see the world. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you your hat. Oh, okay. Ginger, you got her. Come on, Ginger. Ginger's Let's sweet. Go. Ginger's Let's go, Ginger. Really Ginger. Um, on, on our part, um, a lot of times, like the, when the inmates first start with the program, they're very quiet. Um, with with our with our tr type of training, we are very food motivated and very positive, lots of praise, and so their energy has to be a little high. So it's interesting to watch them as the months go by and they get different dogs that they start to come to life and they're very more a lot more outgoing, a lot more friendly with the dogs and because the people. In, in this entire environment, uh, for for a lot of these guys, they have to. Uh, mentally uh, assume a persona, uh, a harder persona to survive. Good girl, that's my baby. She's a good dog. She's gonna make. She's leaving today, actually. Down. No. You know better. Good girl. If we get a crawl. If we get a crawl. I know it's hard on here. Free, buddy. Free. Maybe. Maybe he might roll over today. I don't know. We've been working on it. Hey, Manny. I get a roll. Come on. You gonna do it? Roll over. Roll, oh, that's my good boy. Free. Free, buddy. But, um, yeah, the dogs are great for us. They they don't only, you know, help dogs. It also helps us out in here. Great stress reliever. Helps the days go by. Manny. Hey, not on camera, pal. You see them come in. Some of them are sick and skinny, and they just need somebody to help them. And they were looking for handlers, and uh, I met the requirements. And, uh... That's, this is my 27th dog now, I think. You know, they need you. It's like, there's a lot of miserable stuff going on here, and then all of a sudden you got this little character that needs you, and uh, they don't, they don't,
don't steal from me. They don't lie to you. They, they just want you to be around. And... <laughs> Actually, she wants to go.